welcome. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Maria and I love to decorate. <laughs> if you can't tell already, if you haven't seen any of my videos, I am a mom on a mission. I love to decorate year round but seasonal decorating is just the funnest. It's so fun. It brings out all the memories from Europe's past, gets the kids so excited to see it every single year. So I am super excited to be able to share it all with all of you. I always start my decorating by cleaning, always. Whatever room I'm in, whatever room I'm focusing on, that particular moment, I give everything a good wipe down. Now I just recently did a pretty good cleaning in my kitchen when I had taken down all the summer decor, but I wanted to go back in. It's been a few weeks since then and just give everything a little wipe down, take away greenery that I have out up until this point, not just summer, but that I have out kind of more neutral greenery that I don't always love to keep out this time of year, so I'm just taking, took down some of those green wreaths I had up, some greenery I had in some pictures, and just wiping everything down, giving it a good cleaning, getting the surfaces nice and clean, because when you decorate, you I definitely, I clean to decorate to clean again, because when you're taking stuff out of bins, branches are falling off, you know, the random glitter gets all over, so, it's all a process, which is why I really try to take my decorating room by room. I used to do it, oh my gosh, marathon decorating. I used to just try to blow it out in a day, in a day or two. And with the kids now and our schedules and just our busy, 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 go, 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 that's just not doable anymore. And honestly, I don't, I was never 100% happy when I did things that way because I never focused. I never focused on what I was actually decorating the room I was in and then I would constantly be going back and rearranging things, which I still do. I definitely still do. I do just not as much, but I do like to get the bulk of what I have out before I find any new goodies to add to my collections because I don't want to that for me keeps me from overbuying and getting things that I may already have or don't necessarily need. So I take my kitchen kind of in sections and you'll see, and I'm going to definitely give you details of where I've gotten my most recent purchases from. If I have, I've, when I'm out and I see something I think is cute, I've been stockpiling a few things, but most of my decor is things I've had for years and years and years. And I'll let you know that, but mostly everything I have can be found in all these stores. Michaels, Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, I mean, they're everywhere and very sell very similar things to everything I have. And that's normally where I shop, even for my year-round decor. I love finding special, unique pieces. I don't love spending a ton of money. Every now and then I will splurge on something if I think that it is going to be worth it but very rarely I love to budget shop I love to thrift I love to DIY my own decor my own home furniture all of it so I am excited to get to share that with all of you and if that's something you like then I do hope that you stick around with me here but I'm just wiping down our kitchen table which speaking of DIYing <laughs> I um, had removed the finish on our our kitchen table here and, and I got it to be that beautiful late wood color. So that was exciting. Loved how that turned out. And I even did my KitchenAid over here. I had sprayed it with some spray paint. Wasn't sure. I was super hesitant of how it was going to turn out, but came out really cute. And I actually love how easy it was because... <laughs> You can basically change it to any color you want, what you're feeling that day. So was really happy with that. But I love doing things on my own. I love making the old new again. And you'll see that as I decorate as well. And I also do like to sprinkle in some new goodies here and there as well. And I'll share with you what I can and where I have gotten it from. So just wiping down the fridge now, wiping down the microwave. And 
Another thing about my decorating is I love the aesthetic decorating. I love it. I can look at Pinterest for hours and hours. I can watch you, um, you know, Instagram and YouTube on all the beautiful, um, aesthetically pleasing vignettes. And don't get me wrong, I strive for that, but that is not my priority. My priority is making my house feel warm and cozy and having my kids recognize a scarecrow that I've put out for the past eight years <laughs> and them to get excited about. That's my priority. That's what I love and how I love to decorate. So we're going to see lots of that coming up. But I am taking this plant, which I love. It is growing so beautifully. I believe it's called a pathos plant. And please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, just these, you know, you see these all over run of your mill house plant, but this one is just doing beautifully. And I do wind up moving it to my dining room. I um, didn't want to keep it up here for the fall in the kitchen, but I find a really beautiful spot for it in my dining room, which you'll be able to see in my future, um, decorate with me dining room edition, <laughs> um, which I'll be putting out soon. So just took that one down and I always start from the top down because anything I put up on top of these cabinets, usually uh, dust is falling, uh, you know, the the garlands I keep, I have here, I do keep in bins, but even then they get dusty and some of the pieces of the, of the branches will fall down. But this is the same garland I use every year up here. And I believe I had got purchased it from Christmas tree shop. Now, unfortunately, a lot of my pieces I tell you about are from Christmas tree shop and they've closed. I don't know if they were all over the country, but they were here in New Jersey and it was just the cutest, the cutest seasonal decor, home decor, and you know, not expensive. Uh, just would be a lot of fun to go in there and leave with a bunch of stuff and not spending a ton of money. So those garlands came from there. And now I have these pumpkins, sort of wicker pumpkins that actually my mother-in-law had uh, given me as uh, she no longer found use for them so I thought that it would be great to be able to put them into my own fall decor and I like using pieces that I'm not you know I like these I don't love them but I like to I don't have a ton of room above my cabinets as you can see I'm trying to kind of wedge and which is probably why I have so many marks on my ceilings <laughs> <laughs> but I like to use them in higher places where you don't necessarily see them perfectly, but they fill this, the gap up there. And I always put a wreath above my microwave. Uh, this particular wreath, I put this, George, uh, our last name, family pumpkin patch with all of our names on it. I had, um, I made that. I've had that for several years now, and that always lives up there. And my little paper towel holder here and a lot of the places in my kitchen such as this corner here I know exactly what I'm going to be putting there each year um, a lot of these areas in my kitchen I do very similar decorating to each year and I try not to swap everything out that's something I've been working on over the years to not just have the need to completely remove every single piece from that particular room or in this case my kitchen and then have to start completely from scratch. I've been trying to keep things that I know can go through the season out and then just add touches where I can. So this is an exception to that. <laughs> Actually, no, it's not because this lamp warmer, it's a candle warmer. I've been wanting forever. I wanted a, a light in my kitchen. I wanted a soft lamp. And then I also wanted to be able to light a candle without lighting a candle. So having a candle scent a room without having to actually have a flame be lit because we are just out and in so much, you know, up, down, out, in. I don't like to leave flames unattended, especially with the kids and the dog. So I purchased this and I have to tell you, this is probably one of my favorite things I've ever bought off Amazon. It was so much better quality than I ever expected. I think I got it on a deal. I spent I really do think I spent around $10 on it and it dims and it works beautifully and I'm going to be able to leave it here all year. It serves a purpose all year round and I can swap out my seasonal candles and this little basket I'm showing you here I got from Walmart and this is another thing that I intend on keeping. So this little vignette here as example, I am planning on keeping this here through year round. Now that doesn't mean my mind's not going to change, but the only things that I will swap out is my wreath there that I hung on my little ladder, which I made. 
um, that will swap out because that's fall. And I will turn that little basket around so that the orange does not show. And I will 100% use that for Christmas time. But I'm going to be heading back there. And you'll see, although I do only decorate in the kitchen today, I do jump around because there'll be things that I haven't taken out of the bins yet, things I'm not sure I want to put in a certain area, things I move around. But these I found in Hobby Lobby, these florals here, and they are so pretty, especially this one I'm holding in my hand with the yellow flowers. They look so realistic. They look like dried flowers. And I just wanted something really wispy, so I'm just leaving the one stem here in, in my black my black V's here and I'm just playing around, moving things around and you'll see I move stuff around a lot, put stuff out and then when I go to do something else, I'll think that it might look better in a different area and that's what it's all about. Decorating is fun, um, it's it, it's cathartic for me, I love doing it. So now I am back over here and I'm taking those little plates that I had on that little Lazy Susan in the middle of my kitchen table and I thought they would look cute here and I just put some, a grater and a little rolling pin that I had in my corner here uh, into this little basket. And I put a candle in there and I love this. And I'm telling you that candle warmer, uh, I'll link it for you since I'm just raving about it so much, really is um, beautiful. Now I don't know how long the light bulbs last. It is something that I've only been using for a couple weeks now. Um, and I usually keep it on a, uh, the lightest uh, you know, the di I dim it down. So I don't know if obviously the brighter you keep it, the light bulbs might burn out a little bit quicker, but it did come with, I believe, three replacement bulbs, which I don't know is a good thing or a bad thing. Are they telling you that the light bulbs are going to, to you know, not last <laughs> or not? But it is beautiful nonetheless, and I'm super happy with it, and it gives it such a nice little glow in here at night. So now we are on to another day. This kitchen fall decorate took me two days to complete. And when I say complete, I'm, I'm there's an area that I'm still going to have to do and I'm sure I'll be adding things, which I'll show you in a future video. But the bulk of the fall decorating in my kitchen took two days. And this is not the next day, this is a few days later. And so that's why you see me here kind of just straightening up the kitchen Again, we had a morning of sports this day. It was a Saturday morning and oops, I had a little garland fall down there. So we're going to fix that. So we had a morning of sports and we had a few hours in the afternoon. My daughter actually wound up not feeling great this day. So my husband had taken my boys out and um, I was home with her. And I thought this was a great opportunity to finish up in here. So I am, again, giving everything a wipe down. Nothing was terrible. I had just done this a few days prior. Just the normal crumbs and everything that happens when you live in your house, basically. And just clearing everything off before I really get into the nitty gritty of the kitchen here. And these garlands really usually do stay and give me no issues. I think one of the leaves have gotten caught in the um, cabinet when I opened it, but just getting that back up there, pushing it so that I, I like to be able to see it, but I don't like to be able to to get caught in the cabinet. So just lifting that back up there. And now we are starting and I apologize for the lighting in this particular area of the kitchen. I'm not sure why it went so dark, but we're a little dark over here. And I'm gonna start showing you now a mix of things I've had and uh, things I bought. So this little black stool I recently purchased as well as this wreath from Hobby Lobby. Very affordable, showing you $11.99. All their fall stuff when I have gone is 40% off. So any pricing I show you, you have to take 40% off of that. And that stool, 100%, is going to be used year round. So that's fun. I love finding things that I can use all season long. I can switch out the little wreath and put a Christmas candle on there. And that's exactly what I plan on doing. And you'll see here, um, it'll be the same thing. I have this fall sign that I believe I bought from Michael's. That's I've had a few years now and I love it. We have a lot of outlets in our kitchen, which I love, it's necessary, but also drives me a little bonkers. I'd like to, something on our list, obviously not the priority list because we lived here for a long time. <laughs> we still haven't done it yet, um, is I like to switch out these white outlet covers and the outlets themselves for um, just a more, uh, either like a brown or a black or I like to get rid of the we're slowly 
transforming the house as far as like details and we did it in the dining room so we still have to do it in here but anyway all of that to say I like to try to find pieces that hide my outlets so that's a good sign for that so I am leaving that for a second and going right next to it to this ladder here that I've had for several years and I always decorate it I'm moving our little fly trap plug to down there and I always start by putting seasonal lights around it from top to bottom bottom to top and I tie them around and these are really pretty like cluster lights I believe they're like orange red yellow I want to say I got those from Dollar General I feel like I went into a Dollar General in time and they had them and they were very affordable so that's a fun place to look if you have those near you for some inexpensive seasonal decor so I always put them on my ladder I have had that happy fall sign had those fabric pumpkins so just adding them to my little basket there a fall candle ring and my little scarecrow guy here <laughs> he's seen better days he's a little bit falling apart I had to stick his sign back in his hand but uh, he's gonna survive this year. We're gonna keep him, keep him, keep him around a little bit longer. So just back to the area now to the left of the ladder, and this was a purchase I just made from Hobby Lobby. So they should have them um, now. If and it's a cutting board, and it's 100% food safe, so serves both to dual purpose decor and useful, very useful, and make a super cute cheese board. So I'm doing that here where I'm trying to cover outlets. I'm trying to cover uh, TV cable plugs. So I'm just playing around. And this is what I do a lot. And I'll even go back to it days later. Um, and I just like to play around, get it to a spot where I'm happy with it. And found these three really cute little wicker pumpkins I thought would look cute over here as well. And again, this will be something I will switch out for Christmas time. I will switch out to a Christmas sign. I'll switch out to a Christmas cutting board. I'll leave that little black stool and I'll switch out a Christmas wreath and a Christmas candle. So that is another little section I like to do in my kitchen. Now I'm showing you here my spurtles. <laughs> these I purchased from QVC years and years and years ago. And I use these. These are 100% I use in and out day after day uh, for cooking. I love my wooden utensils. But I found these at Hobby Lobby. And they are so affordable. They were not on sale. I don't believe this Market Square line ever goes on sale. You'll correct me if I'm wrong. But I do not believe they ever do. But they are very, very affordable. I'm showing you these prices, $12.99 for all three of those. So I think why they don't go on sale is because they are priced at a very, um, you know, very affordably. So I needed some new ones. And while I was there, I was said that that's perfect. Let me grab these. And this is an area as well that I always keep the same. I use 100% of what I have on this little tray here. I switch out. I actually bought a copper pitcher to switch out what I have the white stems in and I can't find it. I don't know if it fell out of my girlfriend's car. I don't know if I left it at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> That's TBD. Got to figure out what I did with that. So I am just heading to my stove top now just doing a light wipe down. It does need a really good cleaning but I'm hoping that after I decorate for fall the majority and I'm going to do kind of like a really deep cleaning after that. So I always put a sign here, a seasonal sign of some sort. And there was a beautiful copper sign at Hobby Lobby that I'm kicking myself for not getting because, of course, they don't have it anymore. I actually had thought I purchased it. And I think I wanted it so badly that I actually convinced myself that I bought it <laughs> last year. And I didn't. I did not. I do not have it. So this sign, that sign was just as much. I love the quote that – um. Uh, change is beautiful so I was really happy with finding that but shh, it's true sometimes when you see things and you you know that it's something you want then you, you should get it <laughs> because it was um that was a bummer that I missed that one and if you're a Hobby Lobby fanatic like I am I'm sure you know the one I'm talking about it was a beautiful copper color uh anyway beautiful but anyway that's long gone it's over I didn't get it gotta gotta move on <laughs> putting up wiping down I should say are my my ovens and I found these really cute beautiful embroidered towels at none other than TJ Maxx they are great for those types of things and 
I believe for the three pack, they were $9.99. Uh, you get three towels. Now, these are not towels that I intend on using. Uh, these are not uh, usually the towels, seasonal towels that I get to hang here. I don't. Now, if they do get used, if somebody's washing dishes that it's not me and they use them, it's 100% fine. Um, but I do get these towels with the intent to purely use for decor purposes. Um, I just find that these types of towels don't really absorb well and all that. So hanging those over there and that is what is left of my two lobes of pumpkin pie I definitely have to be get on that soon and make some more because everyone loves it but just decorating now my KitchenAid I 100% use this my KitchenAid as decor as well it gets much use but uh, I love to decorate it too and like I mentioned earlier I recently spray painted it it used to be a really 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 bright orange and I like the orange as bright as kind of that spatula there. It was a very, very bright orange. But I didn't love it for year round. I actually had it hidden in my cabinet for quite a while because I just didn't love it sitting on my counter anymore. So I decided to spray it that copper color. And it really came out beautiful and it was so easy. So, And I was afraid to do it. I was afraid I was going to mix, like totally mess up my KitchenAid. But it was super easy. And I encourage you, if you're not loving your KitchenAid color, to just spray paint it because it was super easy and it adhered really nicely. And if I get sick of the color, I can always change it again now that I know how easy it is. So we're moving on to my island now. And this is a place where we congregate a ton. It's not a huge island. We have two stools to it. But my kids do homework here. My kids will do a lot of coloring here. They love to like pull up those YouTube videos, learn how to draw. And they're so cute. They really are. So I don't love to put too much on my island because it gets a lot of use. So I did, I was in the, um, I was looking for a new runner for here. The one I had was old and when I say old I mean like 10 years plus and you know food stains and everything else because like I said our island gets used so I purchased that one from Hobby Lobby I believe it was $17.99 and 40% off and I had this tray here from Target and I'm just putting a just a little bit of uh, decor on it and mostly things that we use like I use this bowl for whether it be oranges or tomatoes or whatever I have. I'm going to wind up taking that wreath out, you'll see. But for now, I stuck that there. I did buy that little black pitcher recently from Hobby Lobby. And those florals that I purchased there as well, I stuck in there and I thought they looked so cute. So not a lot, very simple over there. But I have to tell you of everything in this video, this may be what I'm most excited about. I forever wanted to put a hanging bar here. I hated seeing the outlet. I don't use this outlet a lot. It's like a child safety outlet that my husband had put in. And it's just, it's actually a pain in the butt to push the plug in and take it out. And we have so many outlets in our kitchen that is fine. And it's not even that I can't use the outlet. It's just now it's going to be covered by all this beautiful stuff. <laughs> so I was super excited to find that bar, that hang bar at Hobby Lobby recently. Now this is all recently. I think last week I was in there. And I found all these cute pieces and the majority of them are not seasonal specific. So like this pot holder here is very neutral. I went with the neutral cutting board and this neutral greenery here. I did buy these little sweet fabric coasters and that it's fall y'all sign to add to it. But this is another area that I do not intend on completely removing every single year. So this bar is going to stay here permanently and that this cutting board is just so beautiful and it's so reasonably priced at Hobby Lobby. I believe it's another thing that normally doesn't go on sale this particular line but I think it was $12.99 and it is substantial and I just love it. So like I said I didn't want everything I bought for this to only be fall specific. I wanted to be able to switch out what I needed for the seasons. So I bought that little green wreath and I thought that can go really for, for all year round. I can leave it up for Christmas time. Um, so I thought that was really cute here. So now I'm just playing around trying to see. I had an idea of how I wanted to look but I didn't know how everything was going to sit nicely on the hooks. I wasn't sure how what I was going to have to tie on or what was going to hang. Some things I wanted a little bit higher. Some things I wanted a little bit lower. 
But once you get the gist of kind of the base of where you have things, then it's super easy to switch stuff in and out. So just getting my wreath on there. Originally, first I hang it on the hook, but then you'll see later when I'm adding the other things, I actually wind up tying it on just with a piece of jute, um, jute like twine because I wanted, I did want it to go a little bit higher. So just kind of fooling around here. And this is something that I, you know, I have probably a million of these pinned on my Pinterest board <laughs> of just, I love, I love to decorate. I love to take small spaces, especially if it's like something just, I love like the sweetness of just something unexpected. And I know this is popular now and people hang a lot of stuff from their islands and stuff like that, but it's just, I just love to decorate. So anything, <laughs> anything for me that will give me more options for decorating, I'm all for it. So I, I couldn't originally have this when we had our kitchen table, our old, well, it is the same kitchen table, but before I redid it, our chairs were huge that we had because it's basically our old dining room set. So I couldn't have this bar here because people would have just constantly been bumping into it or when you backed your chair out of the table, you would have hit the island. So I kept from doing it for those reasons. But now that we've uh, taken the leaf out of our table and I've since purchased smaller chairs, I was like super excited to be able to do this now because now there's enough space between. Uh, you can see I'm actually like sitting on the floor or, you know, trying to do this. So I have lots of space now. So I'm taking that twine and raising the wreath up because I wasn't happy with how low it was when it was hanging. So just going to get this tied up on the bar and then go ahead and finish decorating. I love how it winds up turning out. Golden trees, golden leaves, riding wind down the cliff. Honestly, I understand. Behind the clouds, the sun is hiding When the sky lacks saturation Honestly, I understand I understand Life's not always a flower in the spring Nor sweet as peaches in the summer Just like the seasons It's ever changing so in this empty hall, I embrace my fall I see my breath, cover myself With old sweater I kept in my shelf Familiar like an old friend I sense my daylight time I found some placemats that I put under my chargers on my kitchen table and then just adding this sweet little pumpkin towel to the rod there and I think it just looks so cute. I'm really happy with how it turned out. So now moving over to, I guess you can call it my coffee bar area. Uh, it's not an overly big area. I don't have a ton of space. The current coffee pot we have takes up a lot of room. It's like one of those where you can do a whole pot or you can do just a cup. But I'm showing you some two new fall mugs that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. This autumn leaves and lattes, please, I made a few years ago. It's super fun, really cute to have over here by my coffee bar area. But I purchased this two-tier tray from Hobby Lobby recently. And I was I had all intentions of using it here. And I was disappointed that I couldn't fit anything on it. <laughs> I, I didn't realize that there wasn't enough space, not only between the bottom, but also the top. So that was a bust. I am planning on using it in another area, so I don't think I'm going to return it, but that's okay. I had this two-tiered tray here that I had gotten from Walmart years ago. And actually, when I got it from Walmart, it was broken, and then my husband uh, somehow glued it back together for me, but it has been fine ever since, so I thought it would be good to put here. I like to put out um, this like the scarecrow guy here. It's actually a jar that I will keep candy corn in for the kids. They love it. They love come, seeing it come out because that means I'm going to be getting candy corn soon. So I like to keep him here. I love to keep these re, um, 
cups from TJ Maxx. I get them every year. I get them seasonally for every holiday. And I think they're just fun to have when people come over or for me in the morning when I want a quick cup of coffee and I know I'm going to be out. Um, I like to use these cups. Really easy, really cute, very affordable. These picks here I got from Hobby Lobby. Uh, I thought they would look cute over here. You can use them for stir sticks. Um, you can use them in different desserts. So I'm putting them over here as well as those little pumpkin spoon, wooden spoons that I was really happy to find this year because I can never find them. I know everyone always has them. They always show them on their Instagram pages and stuff and they're so sweet, really cute for like a cheese board or some type of charcuterie, fall charcuterie board. Um, so I was really happy to find those. I'm actually kicking myself that I didn't get two, but maybe next time when I go back, I'll grab another um, pack of those. But these I'm showing you are like a tiered tray decor that I had gotten from Amazon a few years ago because that tiered tray I was just decorating. I used to keep in the center of our old table. So I used to seasonally decorate it every year. So I've since changed, but now I use those little pieces kind of all over my kitchen. And you'll see, I put a little in my coffee bar. I put a little on the um, other side of the kitchen. So over here above my coffee bar, I didn't, ha I don't have enough of that other garland. So I had this, it didn't fill the whole space, but just putting that up there for now. And this is the area I spoke of that I'm not going to be decorating right now. This is a desk in our kitchen. And although I know desks in the kitchen are out, uh, I'm trying to work with it. I got to get kind of a new chair or sitting ottoman. I'm not sure what I want to do. I do want to make this space functional, but that'll be for another video. I'm working on that, trying to figure out what I want to put there. But now I'm just kind of going, going to go around the kitchen, show you how everything turned out. I'm really excited to have the majority of the decor out here and I'm really happy with how this little area came out this candle it's autumn wreath by Yankee candle smells absolutely delicious so I'm really happy with how I used some of my new pieces and intertwined them with a lot of my older pieces and I think it works out perfectly and I like I said I really like to decorate things um, Every year, I like to take out pieces that we've had where the kids can recognize and get excited about seeing again, and that's what it's all about. That's what I'm all about. Um, I don't, you know, I I love the look of neutrals, but I don't always want my house to look neutral, <laughs> although I am in the process of painting everything white, and my daughter keeps telling me it's boring, so, <laughs> but I do like to keep out these fun pieces and... I use my kids as an excuse, but I like it too. So my paper towel holder, which I did get from Christmas Tree Shop, um, one of the cute finds that they had there, seasonal paper towel holders. But my area here, I'm hoping to find that copper pitcher, but for now, I'm going to keep out my white one and just some of these little cute wooden happy fall pumpkins that I believe I also had gotten from Christmas Tree Shops years ago. And this area here where I put this white tray and that super cute light from Amazon, which I will put down below because I it really is beautiful and works so nicely. And my little stay cozy basket here and some those little dishes. Those little dishes came from Hobby Lobby um, a few months ago when I was in there. When they first started putting the fall stuff up, I snagged those. Um, they're really cute and serve a lot of purposes. I can use them for decor. I can use them for little spoon rests. I can use them from when I'm prepping and all of that. So going to let a little bit of music play right now and let you enjoy looking at the what is almost the finished product of our fall kitchen. is hiding when the sky lacks saturation honestly i understand i understand 
Life's not always a flower in the spring Nor sweet as beaches in the summer Just like the seasons, it's ever changing So in this empty hall I embrace my fall I see my breath cover myself With old sweater I kept in my shelf Familiar like an old friend I sense my daylight time is shorter And I'm aware I'm getting older I know all I can do is keep going I know Life's not always a flower in the spring Nor sweet as beaches in the summer Just like the seasons It's ever changing So in this empty hall I embrace my fall I know it won't always be like this But right now I'm just a falling leaf I I hope you enjoyed coming around my kitchen today, seeing a little bit of how I like to decorate for the seasons. I said in a previous video, less is not more <laughs> when it comes to seasonally decorating. And that doesn't always mean buying, buying, buying. It means finding some new goodies, but mainly Holding on to things that mean something to you and your family year after year. Creating some new things I, with your family. That's always a plus to getting the kids involved. And also just really enjoying the seasons as they come and being able to enjoy it with your family and the ones you love is really the most important thing and um, really is the reason why I love to decorate. So thank you so much for hanging with me here. I have so much more to do, so much more decorating to do. I do hope that you'll subscribe and stick around. And if you've enjoyed watching this video and you hung out to me to the end, I appreciate you. I appreciate it so very much. And I will be very happy to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to light this cozy candle and I hope you guys have a great day. See you in the next one. Bye guys.